All right, guys, I'm very excited to show you a new toy I got today. This is the Traxxas 1 16th scale slash 4x4. This is the brushed version. So we're just going to, you know, run it box stock. I think these are pretty cool cars. Um, comes with a NICAD or nickel metal hydride battery, so we'll run it with that first. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the box. So I really don't have a knife. I guess I could use this scraper or I could use this weed whacker. So we're going to go ahead and weed whack the box open. I'm going to get you guys set up so y'all can see that. This is for the preferred method to open things. I mean, weed whackers are pretty cool and everyone has one. So you know, if it's good enough to whack some weeds, it's good enough to open a toy. I guess, we'll, I guess we'll weed whack it right here. This is inside the house as well. It's too cold outside. So we're going to give this a shot. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oops. opener All right. Whoop. throw it back on the bench go ahead and unbox it and in my opinion there's nothing more satisfying in the world than getting to open a new rc it's just so satisfying i don't know what it is got the bag of crap got the nickel metal pack a two amp fast charger a bunch of tools the book some stickers oh yeah look at this thing heck yeah Dang, look at that. That's the controller. Check it out. This thing is freaking sweet. Brand new. Never been ran. We'll pull the plastic off. It even smells brand new, right? Body shell's pretty nice. This is the only color they had, um, but it looks good. I'm not really tripping about that. Clean up my trash a little bit. Here's the car itself. All right, huge antenna for some reason. Uh, 12 turn brush motor, ESC. Uh, I only have a three cell for this car, so I don't know if this can run three cell or not. So I'm gonna check that before I plug it in and destroy it instantly. But that's it, man. This is the uh, 116 slash. It's pretty cool. I don't have any small scale cars. So this is gonna be kind of my entry into a smaller scale car to get to play around with and do all that cool stuff with. So I really like the Traxxas 116 scales. They've made them pretty much I don't know, 10 years. Um, the e Rivo and the Summit are really neat, but I don't know, man. For some reason, I really like the uh, I really like the slashes. I really think they're pretty cool. And this one's obviously four-wheel drive. It's got the uh, inbound shock absorbers, oil-filled, of course, just like the e Rivo, the big one. So pretty neat. Little little single steering servo. You can add two, or some people just upgrade this to a way better one, but I think it'll be adequate for what we're doing with it. And then I'll show you guys the radio. This is a TQ, so it's their cheap, cheaper radio. And then, like, compared to, here's a TQI. It's got, I guess, some more features. I've never had a normal TQ, so. Hopefully it doesn't suck. I don't think it will. Traxxas is normally pretty good about their running gear. Anyway, so that's it. So I'm going to, you know, get the included useful metal pack. We're going to charge this guy up, and then we're going to go take it for its first run. And that's it. We're literally going to run this thing box lock. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to, I guess, uh... Do something with this and then put some batteries in the transmitter and then we will go run it so hopefully next time you guys see this we'll be out there running it all right guys got the nickel metal hydride battery charged so we're gonna put some put some batteries in the remote can kick it on okay got steering Let's see if you have throttle oh crap sorry I think that's gonna go. So I'm gonna slap the body on and then uh, I'm gonna get in the truck and go find a little place to rip this and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is gonna be your box stock running completely out of the box, including the battery. All right guys, we're on location with this tiny ass little car. We're gonna see what she does. This is box stop. I'm gonna try to film and drive, so this might suck. I realized I needed to build a controller mount. Try to get some good action shots here with the GoPro. Okay, it's pretty good. Oh, we're gonna... we're, so we're... Oh, no. 
Now guys, this is probably the worst environment to run this thing. Tall grass. Doesn't do very good. Oh, I think I So that's pretty good. I guess that's all the little rip we're gonna do right now. Um, I'll bring you guys back to the workbench and we'll kinda... Am I recording? What's up guys, we're out here with the 116th slash with the stock battery, the nickel metal pack, 2000 or 18 million, whatever it is. So we're gonna go run it and see how it does on the box stock configuration. And then later we're gonna mod it. Slash stock. Yes, it does. It's like a little roach. What? I'm gonna come back in the head. It does pretty good. Whoa. out easily, that's okay. We'll go from the bottom all the way up. Going towards me. Do it again. 
<laughs> it's stuck. Nothing like the tall grass. It's got little baby wheels. Keep it close to me. That's it, it runs pretty good. All right guys, welcome back to the workshop. So we just got running, running this car. Um, runs freaking amazing. Use the stock battery, brush motor, the whole nine yards. It literally how it comes out of the box. Charge the battery with the included two amp charger, which is pretty nice. Um, and yeah, the truck ran great. I, I'd say it probably did 20 miles an hour. I did not put a GPS or a phone on it. I just, I don't have one. Uh, maybe next time, you know, when we start to do other things to this thing, we'll strap a phone to it or something. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm really uh, happy with how this truck ran. You could get a slightly a little bit more performance out of it if you put a lipo in it. I didn't do it in this video. Um, I literally just wanted to run this thing stock just to see kind of what you give with your money. I mean, this is about $200, you know, plus tax or whatever. And honestly, it's a pretty good car for the money. Um, the Titan doesn't really care to push this thing around. It's this motor's for a 10 scale car. So you can pretty much run the crap out of this all day long as long as you have a battery. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's not too squirrely. It's not too bad. It doesn't, it can flip if you know you're gunning it and you want to do a hard turn. The truck does kind of tend to roll, but that's just because it's a little bit top heavy because of that big old brush motor. So that's it. I'd say this thing's uh, it's pretty cool. You know, if you're getting it for someone who's just getting into RC or something like that, you know, it's a pretty good candidate or something you want to just slap in a backpack. You don't got to take a big old 10 scale car with you. You know, everything's real small. The car's real light. I took a couple tumbles and crashes with it. Nothing broke. I didn't really even scuff the body up. I'm trying to keep it as nice as possible. So that really kind of concludes the box stock video. So hopefully in the next video, we're going to kind of change it up a bit and maybe make a couple changes. So uh, thank you guys for watching.